First, let's have a look on some live data I took earlier today. Because usually on most of the cars, you're not going to get access to the camshaft position sensor signal. However, this car is equipped with variable valve timing. Obviously, you can see how the exhaust and the intake responds immediately after the engine start. So these two values can be considered an interpretation of the camshaft position sensors. Then we've got here another live data, which is about the ignition angle on a running engine. So I think BMW is referring to the cylinder one timing advance here the engine speed goes from 700 rpms to 1400 and the ignition angle is following it however we've got here some interesting spikes even though for example here the engine speed is the same we've got here a little spike and also before that we've got some spikes here which do not correspond with this line here so that's why in today's video i'm gonna see if the camshaft position sensors respond and back here we've got the exhaust camshaft sensor and the intake camshaft sensor. You can remove them by using an 8mm. So first let's unplug the connector and see what voltage values we're going to read. And let's see the first pin. Okay, we've got 0 0.05 volts. Here we've got 5 volts and here we've got 5 volts again. Now I want to see with the sensor on. So again, I'm going to start with this pin here. And we've got again 0 0.06, here we've got 4.8 again, and this is 5 volts. I want to see which one of these is going to be the signal wire. So I'm going to put a piece of metal here, and it looks like the signal doesn't drop. So this might be the reference wire. Now let's see the middle one, I think this is going to be the signal wire. Since we've got 4.8 volts, yes, this is the signal wire. So this was the exhaust sensor, now let's see the intake sensor. Okay, we've got again 0 0.06, like before. Let's see the middle wire. This is gonna be the signal wire. Now it's five volts, okay. Again, five volts. Now let's see, I'm gonna take the piece of metal and place it on the sensor, and we've got the signal drop. To me, it looks like the sensor does respond quite fast. So this is the advantage of having two sensors of the same kind. You can compare the values. Okay, so that's how you can quickly check your camshaft sensors. This is going to be useful if, for example, you suspect that the Vanos is failing. It's definitely worth to check it before you take the car to a workshop to fix your Vanos. As always, have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.